I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And today we're gonna to be talking about, I got back with the man of my dreams. Oh, how romantic. Yes, I'm excited. This is a success story from a girl that I did a coaching with quite some time ago. Uh -huh. You know, people can say this in the comments, but I remember you guys even long after we've talked and times people will yeah. be like, I, I, there was a couple weeks ago, I left a, a video up and the guy said, Craig remembered my conversation from 17 months ago. Wow. E that even the type of bacon we talked about yeah. and all these things about, and he, he even defended me. So good. we remember you guys, we know who you are, right? And so yes. it's exciting when we get a success story. Oh, absolutely. She exciting. sent this to me in my Instagram at first because um, we followed each other on yes. Instagram. And so uh, she, was ex she was like, I got a success story. And I'm like, please email it to me. Oh yes. So we can share it with everybody. And so I've got one today, so. We don't always get to share all the success stories, no, but don't. this is one that I really wanted to get to. Um, she said, my ex and I met when we were both pretty freshly out of our first marriage. We dated a year and we were excellent together. No fights, healthy communication, romance, and incredible fun. It was it all. The only problem was situational. I was coming out of a long marriage as a single mother trying to be independent. He lived close by, but sometimes two weeks would pass before we would see each other. This eventually wore on him, so we broke up. I was so consumed with my life transitions then that I didn't even recognize that I was neglecting him. It took talking to Craig, a lot of reading, a lot of journaling, a lot of thinking to, that made me realize that. I would have broken up with me too. Ha ha. Good for her. I wasn't good to date then, as I was too busy and could barely make myself a priority, let alone someone else. Like I said, we had a good relationship, so it wasn't like I needed to work on my temper or loyalty, etc. My free time to be dateable was the problem. I became savagely protective of my free time and slowly started carving out more. In the meantime, he started dating someone else. After about a year, they got a house and started building a future. Wow. So remember what we say? Rebounds? Yeah. Okay. This guy moved in with somebody else. And see what happens. It was so difficult, but once I found out he was in a relationship, I left him alone. Mm -hmm. I dated as well and had fun. I figured that if he ever wanted to see how I was doing, he could hop on my social media to see how I was thriving and how much free time I had to explore and travel and be free like we always wanted together. Mm -hmm. Well, one morning, I woke up to an email saying that he couldn't stop thinking about me, mm -hmm. that his current relationship didn't compare to ours, and how much he missed what we had, that he just didn't see a future with her and couldn't see marrying her. Wow. Meanwhile, many of us would have been devastated thinking he... she. You know, he's so happy in this new Absolutely. relationship. They're living yep. together. Yep. I know I'll never hear from him again. But yeah. she did a lot of work, so she got to a good place. Yep. I kept conversations light and funny. I said how I was thinking for the breakup 
and how it had helped me. We didn't see each other, though I did suggest we could casually meet up for some drinks just to catch up. Though, I was actually thankful for this, because it shows what a good man he is. Yes. So I guess he didn't, because yes. he was in that other relationship. Right. He said he knew with how he felt that he wouldn't want to let me go if he saw me in person. He did see the light, so to speak, and broke up with his girlfriend. Wow. I asked him if he was breaking up with her for me, and he said no. He would have broken up with her anyways. I don't know if I believe that part. <laughs> Probably some truth to it. Yeah. But it made it a lot easier when he knew she was available mm -hmm. and interested. Knowing that I was still available expedited it, LOL. Yes, expedited it. Yes, that's, that's probably a very good way to put it. He said the biggest mistake in his life he made was letting me go and not being more patient with my situation. He quickly sold their house and showed up on my doorstep with no strings attached. He has never left. Fast forward six months, he asked me to marry him. He said, I know what I want and I know who I want which hearing this statement is amazing when he struggled to even consider marriage with who I was before. With me sitting back and shining, so to speak, he feels that he pursued and won me. He literally looked lovingly at me the other day and asked, how did I get so lucky? Wow. So because of tips and self-growth, I was able to not only get back with him, but am now happily married to him. I'm a better, more self-aware person for it too. So thank you. Best tip that stuck with me, anxiety is the root of desire. So leave him alone and become a dream man slash woman that he slash she is anxious to have again. Okay. Great success story. Wonderful success story. She actually sent me some pictures of her and their new house. It was a beautiful new home. Mm -hmm. I'm thrilled for her. Not all of you will have an opportunity to get your ex back, but you want to act in a way that if the opportunity arises, you'll be ready. I was going to say one of the things that shines through to me is that they are both grown-ups. Yep. Nobody acted childish. Nobody was, you know, violated their ethics. They were both grown-ups, and look what that got them. She did a lot of work, yep. and she had the right mindset, and now they're happily married. She still got the growth mindset of continuing right. to work on herself, and she, you could see that in the way she writes everything. And this is great. I'm so happy for her. Uh, I mean, I did a call, I don't even know how long ago, probably a year and a half, two years ago, I don't mm -hmm. remember, but I remember her, and, um, you know, I'm so happy that she's been able to turn this around, and that we could share it with you guys. And we thank her for sharing it with us. Yes, we love thank success so stories. Yeah. So, when you have a success story to share, whatever you deem a success story to be, share it with us on the website. Leave comments. We see those things. We love those things. Yes, we love to hear from you. And we can't share all the success stories that we have. We simply don't have the time to get that many videos out. But when somebody like this comes along and shares a great one like this, that I'm, I know exactly who it was and how much of an impact we've had on her, I'm right. just thrilled. So we want to hear from you guys. And even if you don't get your ex back, it doesn't mean that you won't find somebody amazing or change your life. Right. And it's so important for people to remember that. Yes, absolutely. Because it could feel like the ex is the only person that will make you happy. You're in despair, yes. But if that's not meant to be, you want to be awesome and you want to turn your life around and you want to improve your mental health and your skills to be a great partner so you can blow away whoever you meet in the future. That's right. So thanks for sharing this one. Great success story. Of course, if you want to get our help personally, just go to my website, askcraig.net. Sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching and I do Skype. And of course, Margaret is available for Skype coaching. If you think I can be helpful, please sign up. And of course, Margaret is going to be very helpful. Just click on Margaret on the top of the website to get with her. 
That's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And we will talk with you soon. To get my help personally, go to AskCraig.net and click on Schedule Coaching and choose the option that works best for you. I do email coaching or Skype. To schedule a coaching with Margaret, click on Margaret on the top of the page and order a Skype with her. For the Knowledge Creative Healing course, click on the link at the top of the page and click Get Started Now.